Okay, so this is my messy island. Don't mind it, but I have one opening here and I also have one. Hi cutie, I have one right here. I was originally gonna do it on this one and just connect these two doors because this is a lot skinnier. But I realized that I needed this and this more. So I'm gonna uninstall this and then I'm gonna remove this piece. Also, I have a little dilemma I'm gonna show you guys, but way up here, this is an outlet that goes to the outlet port on the outside. If the second trash doesn't fit because of that, then I'll just remove the second trash or cut a portion of it out because I was planning on just using that second bag trash for recyclables. This is about 16 and a half from that opening to the bottom it is 22 and a half the overall size of the outside door is approximately 18 inch across bottom to top is 24 inches okay so this is definitely like a first impression kind of deal but i will try to give you guys as much deeds as possible um, by the way this is the brand rev shelves nothing there's two bins the sizing is not too bad actually i was afraid it would be too too small top to bottom is about 18 inches this is paper this is about 11 and a half by 8 the opening on this is about a little over 14 and by a little over it's like a 10 and a quarter Here is the manual. So I took the shelving out and they had these little clips. I took all that out. But I wanted to make sure that this would fit the back trash. And it seems like it would. Because it's not actually high enough to hit that big bulky thing up there. So make sure that you have all the parts um, in there. And then make sure you have all the tools necessary. And this is supposed to be like a... 30 minute installation only. So I pulled the door off and it is laying right here completely flat. Make sure you take the knob out so you don't scratch it if you're planning on using the same knob. For an easier installation, always, in my opinion, always lay everything out and then just organize and take everything out of the bag. If it's not a lot of tools, you know what I mean, or hardware. The first step is you're supposed to install and connect this piece with this piece. So I've got one in so far and it's pretty easy. Be kind of careful. You can play with this and push it in and out, but it can kind of swing out at you and all you do is you get this piece and you're just gonna slide it in slide it back so that they meet back there and then there's also a hole right here one on the bottom which is where you're gonna screw it onto so once you're finished installing the little screws in you're gonna space this these two out so you can put this main piece in sit this right on top to align the holes there's four of them so one at each end right there one right there and then just two back there. So make sure they're all aligned. Next step is you install the connecting rod and it has two pieces. This is how it looks like. Just like that. So I forgot to mention, but make sure you put the rod in first. So I snapped it back out. It's got a little bit of flexibility in it. This piece comes with the whole kit. Pretty much put it in here to measure where you're gonna screw in all the little screws. What I did so far is I measure the inside of my cabinet and just divide it in half and I marked it with a pencil. You're just going to match that line to the center of the line so that the trash container frame can be centered. And then we're just going to tape this down and mark everything and then we're going to bring this whole thing in here and screw it in. Before we go on any further, I made a few mistakes with all the screws because they're so, so tiny. Make sure you pay attention to the numbers. I didn't realize that. If you're confused as to which screw to use, like say this is part number nine, you go to the other page. And on here, it'll also show you a picture. So that is number nine. And it also tell you on here, like say number nine, go to number nine, pan his screw, there's two of them or so. I did remove the two that I put here, took it out and I put the right ones in. So these are the curves. I finally finished installing those screws in and they were in about to take out and put new ones in. I just hate it, it's like a step back. I'm so happy that I caught on to that because with the other screws on, it was just kind of wobbly. Once you've got this tape and you've aligned everything to match, then just make sure that you are marking the right hole. For mine in particular, it's gonna be this one right here. There's one, two, three, four, this side, this four, but it's flip it says on this side you're just gonna do the same thing for the bag they're all the same punch the hole to go through all the way so that you can pull this whole thing out and then align these holes 
with um, the markings that you just did. What I'm gonna do first is screw four of them in because those are the ones that I have the marks in. This spacing right here is where you're gonna screw the next screw in. Okay guys, so I finally finished installing all eight screws on the bottom and let me tell you guys, I haven't finished it yet but I feel like this is so far the hardest part of this project. This is not a really big space that you can work with. My best advice is that move this piece out so you have space to go back there with your drill and a little tip of advice is use a regular screwdriver so this small little screw right here has a pointing edge right and use your one hand to hold it in place what i pretty much just did was i use the back of this piece here pounding it down like a hammer i would try to get a little piece of the tip stuck into the bottom part of the cabinet i will use the regular screwdriver and twist it by hand once it's more sturdier in there then i will go in with my regular just any regular drill and just full force top to bottom the next step is installing this bracket here little tip of advice is screw this knob in with a regular screwdriver just to get it in place then you can use the drill to drill it in but not all the way because then you can slide this piece in and it's just going to hook on these four extra brackets are there for you if your cabinet door, this part is further out then and you don't want the screws to come into this part because this is a thinner part. So it comes with these spacers. On this piece right here, you put it behind it and then just screw it in before you screw this in so that this part will be wider out, forcing this piece to be a little bit more out so that when you screw the door onto it, the screws will pop out on the thicker part and not on the skinny part. So you don't need to use them. Um, according to the manual, you are supposed to basically measure the height and width of everything and divide everything and then measure it to your door. I'm just not trusting I'm not trusting that. So what I'm going to do is, there's this right here it says this is the alternate method. It comes with some, where is it at? Some stickers, double-sided stickers like this. What you're supposed to do is peel it and put it on here. You take this frame and you slap it on there and then you can drill it. It does says if you do it this method, there's a limited mobility. It's not super sticky. So I'm going to scratch that method because I put the stickers on there. The way this is installed, this is going in. The door is like right here, so the stickers way past it. So I'm just going to peel this out. What I'm going to do is just measure from this bottom part right here all the way to this part and also measure from this part all the way to this part. I'm going to also measure what the distance is from here and here and then just measure the same amount down up and across. Okay, so I finally was able to mark all my holes. For now, make sure that you have one of these little tools. You need 3 and 32. Just, I just try just drilling in this little nail in. It just wouldn't work because these doors, they're so, they're so thick. Drill a hole in, but make sure you don't punch or we'll go all the way through because then it's going to go through and show on the other side. Finally done installing this. Oh my gosh. Remember earlier I told you guys this was going to be like a 3 minute installation? Wrong. This took me a few hours. Make sure your measurements are pretty accurate. And this kept jamming. Um, right here. So I was like adjusting this. It was just not happening. So I decided to move this down here to this where I can move this back and forth. When I was finally done and got it close to however, you know, I wanted it to be, even though I wasn't fully satisfied, I went to look at this and the last step says that, oh, as long as you get this door installed and hook on here, then you can go ahead and use these two knobs, unscrew them and loosen it up just a little bit. And then you can shift this. You can move these like on both sides up or down. I just tweaked it with this, like what it says in the manual. And now it is a perfect fit. Close all the way. And this is a uh, soft close hinge. It's in perfectly the way I want it to be. It's aligned right there. And then across right there. And I was kind of worried that since the knob is right here and not center, that it would just yank on one side more. But it's pretty sturdy. You see what I mean? It doesn't hit that back piece at all. I know they sell their own bags, but these are just regular bags. And these are the 13 gallon ones. This doesn't come with a lid, but I did purchase it separately and it is about $20, which is a little bit expensive just for a lid. So I just got it for this one because this can be where all the trash goes and this is gonna be where the, I can recycle cans and that's what which won't smell as bad. Test the trash out. Forget. Okay, now push it all the way really hard. Push, let go. Your sister's turn. Pull it open. Now close it, just push it really hard and let go. 
See? Is that cool? Hey guys, so it has officially been about a week now that I've installed this trash bin and I absolutely love it. What I love about this trash bin is that this actually comes with a closed soft hinge. So every time you pull it open and you close it, you can put full force in it and it's not going to be super loud. That's probably one of my the best features that I like about this. So if you do plan on buying a pull-out trash bin, get one of close soft hinge. Another thing is if you are worried about your doorknob pull is on one side or the other side, and if you pull one side, you're afraid that it might just yank this side too much, and over time it's gonna be wobbly. It's really easy when you pull it. You see how it's not even. I'm not really trying that hard, and it comes out. There's some kind of mechanism in the bottom of it that pushes it out so you're not really trying hard it's the same thing like when you push it close it kind of sucks it sucks it in like that nicely another thing is i was worried that this trash bin would be too small the regular trash bin that i had was about a 13 gallon trash bin so i threw pretty much everything in there and i wasn't recycling i I think I forgot to mention these I looked it up just right now and they are 35 quarts so we use one for trash and then one for recyclables so if you guys are wondering if the lid is worth $20 or not well I will still say that the price is kind of expensive for just a lid it sits on there and that's it but it's not like it's loose what I love about it even though it's not one of those clips on where this part clips on and it's dirty. I do like the fact that they made it like this because it gets dirty. You can always just take it out, wash it with soap, wipe it off, slip it back on. I do definitely recommend the trash lid because it doesn't smell right when you open it up. But it is going to smell. That is why I recommend having this lid. Okay, so let's quickly talk about the negatives. The installation is definitely a lot in my opinion. In the manual it says it takes about 30 minutes to install this. Unless you are a pro i mean i would like to think that i am decent when it comes to installing things around the house quite the diy person i still made a few mistakes along the way this thing took me over two hours to install it was a pain in the butt to install the screws that connect inside the cabinet the spacing here is not big at all if you are a big person it's going to be quite difficult for you to get into the cabinet and screw those screws in another thing with the installation is also install these screws right here this part making sure it aligns trying to fit it around like if you have existing holes right here that is the hard part this is probably what took me the longest so i think that pretty much wraps it up for this video hopefully you guys found it super helpful if you guys are planning on getting a pull out trash bin if you guys have any questions comment down below if you guys haven't already please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already i'll catch you guys on my next video bye guys